Hi, I'm Don Power from DonPower.com, down from Nanaimo for Social Media Camp in Victoria. Well, I think the favorite part for me about Social Media Camp is the favorite thing for me about social media in general, and it's uh, getting a chance to meet people face to face that you only formerly knew online. So that's always the best part of, uh, of social media. I guess one tip that uh, I learned that we were just talking about outside with some folks is the frequency of blogging. Uh, a lot of people when they start blogging they get caught up with the fact that they want or need uh, to blog every day or a couple of times a week and that seems to be a kind of a driving factor. It's actually detrimental and counterproductive uh, to do that if you're just doing what Scott Stratton calls meh content. You want to make sure that you're actually only updating your blog posts when you have something remarkable to say. And, uh, it's, it's good to hear someone of uh, Scott and Stratton's uh, caliber uh, to, to reiterate that message that don't just create content because create remarkable content because that's what people want to do. Hi, I'm Scott McDonald from Rocky Mountain South down at Mayfair Shopping Centre. I can be followed online at Twitter, uh, Foot Butter Guy. The favorite thing I've learned is not so much the tools, but the fact that the social media pool is harder to connect with and will be harder going forward because of the immense growth in content. So as Scott Stratton on marketing said, you've got to be absolutely awesome in your content in order to get noticed. My name is John Espley, I'm with Accent Inns. A couple of things have been really interesting. One of the one uh, used to be we were promoted aggregators, aggregators, spreading your message across all the points to save time. And of course today we've learned that that's not the way to go. Several of the speakers have said you need to approach each of the social media venues, whether it be Twitter or Facebook or your blog, separately and in the appropriate context, which makes sense because I haven't been happy with how my aggregators have been working. So, uh, so that's been excellent. And then Scott's talk on how social media is just an extension of our, our regular networking, how you can't replace this, the relationships are key. I, I live and breathe that, I believe in that, so it was nice to see someone that reinforced that. Hi there, I'm Fabiola with the Greater Victoria Film Commission. Look us up on Twitter at Film Victoria BC or on Facebook at Greater Victoria Film Commission. So the most important thing that I've learned today is um, one of the speakers earlier said that you can't hide who you are online, so also you have to find your real voice and your real value and really share that with the world and be part of the conversation.